hours after a federal judge in Florida struck down the mask mandate for air travel and transit, Alyssa Farinella arrived at the airport hoping to keep her mask off. To me, it's pointless to have them. She brought a screenshot of an article about the ruling to show flight attendants, but also planned to comply with current rules. But I'm not going to make their life miserable either because they're just obeying. Airlines and federal officials offered little guidance in the first hours after the ruling, which came from a judge appointed by former President Trump, who said federal officials exceeded their authority. This is obviously a disappointing decision. The CDC continues recommending wearing a mask in public transit. Just last week, the CDC extended the mask mandate for planes, trains, ferries and buses. <laughs> until May 3rd. For two more weeks, let's be humane. Let's be considerate of people who are sitting next to us. Ali Mokdad of the University of Washington's Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation says the 15-day extension made sense because of young children and immunocompromised people traveling for spring break. While case counts are down, the BA2 variant is still spreading, mostly by people without symptoms. Let's be careful for two more weeks and then we can reassess. Airline CEOs, including Alaska's and Delta's, signed this letter to President Biden calling for an end to mask mandates, saying enforcement takes a toll on employees. But some passengers have no problem with mask rules. It doesn't bother me. It protects me. It protects everyone else.